killer. Alright, well, <clears throat> this video came out a lot later than I initially wanted it to come out. Dragon Ball Super Episode 117 came out last Saturday. I literally said I was going to record on Sunday. Uh, forgot to record on Sunday. Got lazy and didn't do it Monday. And now today's fucking Tuesday and I'm recording it and at 7.39 in the evening where most people are about to go to sleep. Uh, I might upload this really late tonight or early morning tomorrow. Depends. Uh, but I'm going to try to get it as early as possible t tonight just to get this video out so that way I could then obviously record and watch the Boruto episode tomorrow which hopefully has something fucking interesting. And, and then yeah, basically that's it. So. Anyways, we're here with Dragon Ball Super Episode 117, and the whole basis of the episode, the whole plot, is basically Universe 7 versus Universe 2. Big, uh, big shocker, Universe 7, right? But uh, actually, it's Universe 7's androids versus versus Rosie and Riprianne, uh, the two maidens, I guess you can call them, of Universe 2. You know, the maidens of love, whatever. So. Obviously, uh, not one of my favorite episodes because I find Riprianne, Rosie, and every single fucking character almost in Universe 2 extremely fucking annoying with their overextensive use of saying the power of love and all that fucking jazz, right? So, not one of my favorite episodes, but honestly, uh, the interaction that we got with 17, 18, and 18, uh, just in general in this episode, uh, it kind of made up for it you know I kind of like was making memes the whole time as I was watching about Rip Rian and stuff like that going into it I had already known that Universe 2 was gonna be fucked after Rosie was gonna get eliminated because that essentially made it seem as if Rip Rian was gonna get eliminated that's that's as far as I knew before going into the episode that Rip Rian and Rosie were gonna get eliminated and so that means there's three warriors left for Universe 2 which may, which they may or may not likely get erased next week or this week technically. So episode starts off. Uh, people are you know discussing and freaking out about you know the whole Ultra Instinct thing that happened last week with Goku and uh, Kedufura, <laughs> my terrible Japanese accent, but with Kaofla, Ultra Instinct Goku, and you know how she got eliminated, uh, Kay and Khalifa got eliminated and stuff like that, so people are talking about that, people are noticing that Goku is obviously very exhausted after using Ultra Instinct, so Go Gohan and Piccolo actually try to make their way towards Goku to help him out, but then the Universe 6 Namekians uh, whose names I literally just fucking forgot. <laughs> this happens every week, every week when they show up. The Universe 6 Namekians show up and then they stop them, of course. I'm I'm still waiting for them to fucking fight, to be honest. I, I honestly just want to see a Gohan Piccolo team up, honestly. If that happens next week, that would be pretty cool. I have to go check out the previews uh, after, the, after this video goes up, but neither here, neither here or there, so... Uh, obviously Vegeta is like, ah, oh, Kakarot, you got, you got Ultra Instinct, oh, I'm, I'm mad, I just realized you had what Whis was talking about before, I'm gonna go ahead and try to clear up my mind and do what he did, because that's what Whis said that he does, right? Uh, he actually tries that, he goes against, uh, that one dude who, like, changes forms or whatever, that was initially gonna fight Frieza, but I guess it didn't for some stupid reason. So, he starts fighting Vegeta, and obviously, you know, we kinda already suspect that Vegeta can easily just stomp this guy, but Vegeta being the arrogant asshole that he is, he's like, oh, I'm gonna try to unlock Ultra Instinct right here against this guy, for whatever reason. Doesn't work, obviously, because, I mean, we don't even know how Goku attained the form in the fucking first place, to be honest. Like, that's that's honestly still really confusing to not only to the characters in, in the series, 
like in character obviously but also to just the fan base who's watching the series so we get shots of Ribrian and Rosie they're planning to go attack Goku obviously because you know this is Universe 2's biggest chance to get the you know the big threat that isn't Jiren eliminated from the tournament of power obviously so in the entire Universe 2 team goes after them uh, and then we go see a scene with 17 and 18 and honestly he didn't have to do this but they did do it and I'm really glad that they did because as you may or may not know 17 and 18 are brother and sister and knowing that they're brother and sister it seemed almost odd that the entire time that they have been fighting and been around each other after many years of not speaking to each other you'd think they would have like some sort of like character develop development like episode or scene at least one and they finally did do that they finally did do that um uh 18 was talking about how goku told 18 that if they won you know 17 was going to take his family uh all around the world on like a boat or something right i, f I kind of forget but that's kind of like what she says in the episode so you know they kind of have like a little bit of a uh, little bit of uh interaction and development there um the whole premise of the episode is also love as well and how universe 2 realizes that maybe there's a different kind of love that's even stronger than the love that they're giving and that's the love and careness that 18 has for Marin and krillin which is honestly the strongest type of love that you can have uh and in the episode they actually have a really funny scene with 18 in uh the supreme kai which i thought was hilarious uh i highly suggest that you go uh, watch that scene or watch the episode link for country roll is down in the description of course uh, Obviously 17 and 18 they gotta go help Goku so they leave Rosie and fucking <laughs> Rosie and Riprian are about to attack Goku then 17 and 18 show up right they show up and they're like yeah We're not gonna we're not gonna let this happen. We're not gonna let this slide. You're not gonna attack our friend fuck you so they fight uh, Rosie sucks, so she keeps on attacking Rip Brianne by accident. They, they make Rip Brianne literally the biggest fucking gag character of all gag characters in this one fucking episode just before she gets illuminated, right? So, <laughs> like, there's, there's a couple of, like, funny shots and scenes with Rip Brianne that I find hilarious just because of my fucking hatred for the character. And that's why it's funny to me. <laughs> so... Uh, Rosie gets eliminated. Rosie gets eliminated with a tag team uh, co co uh, cooperative attack with uh, Rip Brienne shooting uh, an attack that was directed towards 18, but 18 dodges it, and it was right in line to where 17 and Rosie were, and obviously 17's like, yeah, I'm not gonna get hit by this fucking attack, so he moves out of the way. Rosie gets hit by the attack and then 17 eliminates Rosie from the tournament of power. So she's officially been eliminated um, Rip Brand goes on talking about Stuff about love. She's in her base forms 18's like, ah, oh, how are you gonna beat me like that? Rip Brand shoots a beam and then I guess she had like a fucking love fucking barrier rope thing that was sent underground and got 18 and then uh universe 2 sent their fucking love over to rip Briant so that way she can eliminate 18 duh. and then it and then they decide to show a couple of scenes of of, sh of just a couple of random scenes that we probably never seen before of krillin and 18 kind of you know spending their entire life together uh Corellin is fucking cheering on his fucking wife from the fucking crowds. 18's like, you know what? I'm I'm tired of this shit. My love is stronger than their bull fucking shit. I'm gonna knock this bitch's fucking hand off. She punches Riprian. Riprian became literally a fucking Titan from Attack on Titan. Literally that fucking big, right? She punches the fucking Ribrian's giant ass fucking fist. It <laughs> fucking fist. It disintegrates. 
she starts shooting blasts from like her eyes and her fucking mouth and shit. Seventeen gets in the way of a blast and he uses his almost impenetrable fucking barrier to fucking block the attack. 18's going in and then she fucking punches right through Ribrianne's fucking forehead. And I was like, oh, is this when they finally eliminate Ribrianne? And yeah, Ribrianne falls off the arena and she loses. She's officially eliminated for the Tournament of Power, something that people have been waiting for since before Hit got eliminated from the Tournament of Power. Yeah. <laughs> so, Ribrianne's eliminated. Uh, all of the uh, love fucking maidens, whatever they're called, are eliminated. And Universe 2 at this point is basically fucked, right? So there's two universes that are basically fucked at this point after losing their strongest fighters. Universe 6 when they lost Hit, and then they lost Kaba, and then they fucking lost Khalifa uh, and Kale. Uh, and now they have only two fighters left. Two fighters and they're both Namekians. And they're fighting against Piccolo and Gohan. I highly doubt that they're going to beat... Uh, I highly doubt that these new mechanics are going to beat Gohan and Piccolo. Highly doubt it. And then you have these three fighters who we literally seen nothing of. We have no idea what they're fucking capable of. So I highly doubt that they're going to be able to eliminate Goku even at completely depleted fucking stamina, right? Because obviously someone is going to have to jump in and help Goku if he doesn't pull something out of, right, right straight out of his fucking asshole and manages to fucking eliminate these three guys. So, I don't know. The episode overall was okay, okay you know. 17 and 18 kind of make up for this episode. Rip Rian was annoying as fucking ever. Uh, I want to say animation was okay. I want to say that was actually pretty good. There were a couple of iffy shots of Rip Rian that were kind of hilarious, but it's like I wonder. I wonder if Toei on their animation staff did that on purpose. And although I do find it funny that they, you know, obviously did uh, kind of make Rip Brienne a fucking like whole gag the whole episode. I do I do I, I did find that kind of funny. Um you know, it was it was it was the episode. It was okay. Uh easily like a solid like uh like three out of three out of five on a on a one to five scale and then like a solid like six and a half out of ten like easily. So it was okay. Animation seemed okay. Uh, music obviously was was is always going to be pretty decent. Um, fighting was pretty good. Uh, characters between 17 and 18 were pretty good. So overall, the episode was okay. Uh, uh, you can easily kind of skip this episode if you really wanted, but I highly advise that you don't skip it. So whatever. Uh, that's the end of the video. I'm gonna go ahead and fucking get back to. Uh, possibly making a video on Universe 2 DLC. Ho uh, hopefully, maybe, in the next coming days. Who knows? Because the uh, Extra Pack 1 came out today, and that's why I've been playing all day. And, uh, I'm also gonna go back and continue watching Bleach, because I have been watching that recently. On episode, like, 56. Yeah, episode 56. So, yeah. Anyways, that's the end of the video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a wonderful day, and I'm out.